Welcome. What can I interest you in? What we know about the merchant from the Resident Evil 4 remake. The Resident Evil franchise is one of the top dogs of survival horror games. Over the years, the franchise has managed to create some iconic characters that have been fan favorites ever since they appeared. However, amongst all the playable characters that are famous, there is one NPC who has left quite an impression on the patrons of the series. The Weapons Merchant, or simply The Merchant, is an enigmatic Ganado character that acts as a means of buying and selling weapons and other essentials for players in Resident Evil 4. So with Without further ado, let's jump right into the video to learn more about the merchant. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> Who is the Merchant? The Merchant is essentially a shop for the players of the game to buy guns and other essential supplies, but instead, it acts like an NPC. Dressed in his long black coat, the Merchant peddles weapons. His shop appears as a blue flame on the map. However, he can cover extensive distances within a fraction of a second to sell his weapons to anyone willing to pay the right price, usually in pesetas, the in-game currency. He provides his customers with a huge variety of firearms to select from, which he usually stores in his long coat or his backpack. The fact that he is a Ganado, or someone who fell victim to the subordinate Plaga Parasite, is apparent through his appearance, but he isn't unwelcoming of outsiders like the other Ganados. The source of his weapons is unknown, but they are extremely impressive, even for some as seasoned as Leon. He is also a remarkable salesman, flattering his customers by praising them for their choice of weapons, calling them avid gun collectors, or saying that they have quite the guts to select a particular weapon. The character was developed by artist Masaki Yamanaka to look like a living personification of his own shop. Over here, stranger. The merchant is more than a weapons peddler. Leon comes across the merchant when he is sent to rescue the president's daughter in a small European village. The merchant approaches Leon when he wakes up in the house in the valley by signaling him from outside the window to take a look at his wares. He shows off his wares once Leon comes outside the building. Ada Wong also comes across him on numerous instances. She also encounters him inside the cave before he sets up his permanent shop, designated with a blue flame. He also greets Leon when Leon later comes across him in the same area. He is last scene before Leon goes on to fight Sadler. Although his primary role is that of a weapons peddler, he has various other ventures throughout the village. For example, he has a shooting range set up in the old castle where he distributes prizes depending on high scores. He has also placed several medallions throughout the village to challenge the people of the town to win guns by shooting them. He is never bothered by other creatures or town folks, even when he is selling weapons to Leon. The fact that he is infected also helps him stay under the radar, but considering the weapons he carries around all the time, it seems wise for the people to leave him alone. How to interact with the merchant. In order to interact with the merchant in the game, the player needs to walk up to him and press the button to initiate the talk action. However, the first two times Leon interacts with the merchant when he visits him before the round starts, he offers new weapons and upgrades throughout the game. The places where he sets up shop are usually devoid of enemies, even though these places aren't safe zones. Although the player can kill the merchant, he will respawn at the exact same spot. This phenomenon only takes place in the amateur and normal modes, but in professional modes, Mode. If he is killed by the player, he is gone for good. Do we get to see the original Merchant from Resident Evil 4? Fans of the game are delighted to know that the Merchant was going to be a part of Resident Evil 4's remake. Ever since he was first seen in the original game, he has become iconic. For an NPC who had so little time in the game, his iconic dialogues are part of the ethos of Resident Evil 4. Capcom paid homage to the character through the new Merchant named Duke in Village, who would use one of the Merchant's iconic lines before adding that it was something an old friend of his said, indicating that there is some connection between the two characters. Characters. Capcom has also provided details about the new UI of the character, which states all of his new roles in the game, along with a new mechanic. This is entirely different from the original game, as can be seen from a screenshot posted online by the official Resident Evil Twitter account. Essentially, the merchant will perform the same roles as the original games, with a few extra perks. However, the merchant's shop presented to the player differs from the original game. It has been hinted that the merchant will be more interactive in the remake with a few extra lines apart from his iconic lines. However, the major difference that might upset a few fans is that the voice actor, Paul Mercer, who voiced the merchant in the original Resident Evil 4, won't reprise his role. However, the new voice actor for the character hasn't been disclosed. Marvelous Verdict The return of the merchant in itself is quite the gift for the fans of the franchise. Even though he won't be the exact merchant that fans of the game have come to appreciate, it will be interesting to see how the iconic character behaves and performs in the latest rendition. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share this video, and for more exciting videos, please subscribe to our channel.
Anything else I can help you with? Don't get yourself killed now. 